Okay guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to make a thumbnail using Corel Studio X, well Studio X 8. Uh, you can use any version of Corel as long as it has this option right here and it says snapshot. So that is going to be the main focus on what we're doing here is snapshot. All right, so let's get started. As you can see, I already have my picture ready. And I'm just going to show you really quick how to make a thumbnail. So this is the picture that I'm using. And let's just say I wanted to say something here on the side. I can go over here to where it says title. And as you can see, all of these pop up. So I'm going to choose this one because this is the most vibrant one. And I'm just going to drag it over here to the second line. As you can see, it's already like pre-worded so we're going to take that out and let's just say I wanted to say something else like blondes and oops, more fun so that's pretty much pertaining to the picture and we just want to even that up a little bit like so and if you want it to be different colors you just double click in the box and you come over here and you can change the color make sure it's highlighted you can change the color of the whole thing you can change the color to just this part if you wish hope I'm not going too fast for you guys and let's just put that white and you just drag it you can drag this one you can do any color you wish I'm just using these colors because these are the two most vibrant colors to me you can make it as big as you want or as small as you want it's all up to you now if you want to distort the picture you can double click in the picture down here just double click and over here go to attribute and you can click on distort clip and that makes it to where you can move the picture around as much as you want so let's move it around let's move it a little to the right make it a little wider and then you go back to you just hit project so you can see what you did so basically I made the picture a lot bigger and I moved it over to the right a little more so there is your thumbnail now I must tell you guys all of my thumbnail pictures which make them fit is the size 1920 to an 1080 so make sure your picture is big enough and this is just the standard size from my camera I just always have it on 1920 by 1080 so if that helps because you want your picture to fit okay so there's your thumbnail that's what you're gonna use and then you're gonna come over here to where you see this little record capture option click in there hit snapshot boom it takes the picture for you this it you know you see it right here and then you right click this is what I do so that I know where my picture is on my computer so I'm just gonna locate on my computer there it is right here it shows me exactly where it is and then for me I choose send to desktop just so I know exactly where my picture is when I need it comes down to uploading videos I know exactly where it is now I'm going to also show you guys really quick another way you can get a snapshot if you do not have any pictures and you just want to 
you just want to um, take a snapshot from your video. So here's some video clips that I have already prepared. So let me see, I'll use this one here, it's kind of short. And I'll just drag it onto the first line. It takes a while, my computer is slow. Okay, so this is a video clip of mine. So let's just say I want to take a snapshot from my video. Let's see. <laughs> that is so funny. I'm trying to find a decent one. Like, it's kind of hard to find a decent one when you're talking in the video, but yeah, see? Like, that's not cool. Alright, let's just stop right here. So, you want to do a video snapshot. Same process. You go over to title. Put whatever you want. Type in whatever you want. Uh, let's just say red and green makeup. Oops, not what I meant to do. Same concept, guys. Same exact concept. You even it out to where your preference. So now with this, you pretty much just do the same thing. You hit record capture option. Then go to snapshot and it takes the video for you. Locate on computer. Here it is right here, and this is what it looks like. I'll just give you guys a preview. It's still loading. So that is your snapshot. Hope this helps you guys, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I'll be sure to answer them. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.